Hey guys, this is Kevin from the Textfilex channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you on how to, you know, really sort or if you would actually see this in programmer language it would be called as bubble sort a few given numbers or you could also call that as numbers which you are entering as a user. So well let's begin, I'm going to be starting with the usual include iStream.h Okay Hey, well, out here there is one thing that I'm not going to be using and that is called as functions. But of course, I'll be using one of the logics which is already present in my, in my previous video and that is to swap. So I'll be using a temporary variable as well as two other variables which I'm also going to be using in the loop. So let's, so let me present to you i, j and uh, comma temporary. And let me give me their value as int. Another variable that we'll also be introducing is a and uh, let me give it an array size of 100. So with an array, CLR, CR. So with an array, what happens is you can keep a as 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, but then now uh, you'll be allowed only like around 5 to 6 values at you know uh, maybe 5. So it's better that we take a higher, a higher number and move further. So there'll be a few things that you'll be using here and one is the nested loop and if else statement if if condition actually it's not done if else statement condition after the if condition uh, we'll be using <coughs> uh, loops for you know displaying and uh, taking in inputs uh, for displaying output and one second we'll be using the for loop to display output and the input for the user so that's all i see that we are going to be using so first of all as i said like um let me name all of this so let me take this as number one this as number two and this as number three sorry for writing this in a funny order but uh, this is how I really it really came to my mind so first of all our variables are initialized uh, let's ask the user for the value so we'll be using a for loop to display the input uh, of the user it's not or the user okay so for i is equal to zero i should be less than equal to five and um, i plus plus i increment so for those all who can't understand what loops are loops are something that we are going to be using to repeat uh, something for maybe a number of times so like the number of times we define over here uh, i can be zero and uh, we say that if one should be equal if one should be equal to zero execute the statement for a certain number of times and after one is done it goes to the next place and it goes to two and three and four and till five is equal to five is satisfied it will again run the statement and it will check if six is equal to five and when six is not equal to five it will directly jump out of that statement or of that condition so we have a for loop over here let's tell the user that enter the values to be sorted so let me put my semicolon and let's take a cn for a with the array do not forget the array and uh, the i inside is the subscript so that uh, whatever values stored in is like you know checked uh, five times so like there should be nothing above five times um, the number that should be taken in so let me uh, you know really show you let me directly go to the screen so it's one two three four five, five. okay and one more six and that's it uh, that's the end of the program so it will you it's since it is starting from zero and it is not starting from i is equal to one it's going to be doing that so make sure that you know you have six values if you are starting from if you're starting the loop from i is equal to zero now a first part of the uh, statement is done so number one is done next thing we'll be using is the for is the nested for loop okay now nested for loops are usually um, used with variables i and j that is what i've been using from a very long time also um 
let's go ahead and just I'll just be showing you directly so make so you can you know really repeat the above statement so I is equal to 0 I is less than equal to 5 and I plus plus this is a standard statement for every loop so if you just go ahead and uh, if in in any kind of exam or in, or in any kind of projects you are asked whether uh, you know you have to make a loop or use a loop in a program so just you know go with the statement that you initialize um, the i variable and the next thing you do is you always execute this statement which is or you always enter in this statement which is for for loop i is equal to zero i i i is equal to zero is our starting amount i should be less than equal to five like how many times should it really you know go round and round or how many times should it really loop in actual words and i increment whether it should be you know going from one one loop second loop third loop fourth loop or it should be going reverse from fifth fourth third second and first once that is done let's go for our inner loop our inner loop will will be now using j should be equal to zero okay and j should be less than equal to i j plus <coughs> plus so after this is done our Two nested loops are being actually used and the third thing we'll be using is the if condition so just for this program just make sure that you you know use your loops from i to j for the nested the only difference in these two statements are is, is that it, it just uh, loops around it just loops around like uh, the number of times that uh, i is is really dependent on i so like if uh, i had to be um, zero on the start so zero is less than equal to five of course so let me take an example here this is, is this is zero for the first time when i is equal to zero and over here what happens is j is also equal to zero uh, zero is also equal to zero zero plus plus so let's say that the value of this thing is actually true so this statement is true T R U E, and even this statement happens to be true so it'll move in and uh, this is the time where we you know really check whether our um, you know this is the time we check our numbers if uh, it is greater than the other and we accordingly you know sort them out so let's say if a with the array of i is less than a with the array of j so once that is done let's go in we have uh, the swapping which we had done like in the last code if you check my previous video in the last uh, previous video you could see that uh, we'll, we'll be doing the same kind of swapping so let's say um, temporary is equal to a is, is equal to the variable a with the array i a of i is equal to a of j a of uh, array j and a of array j is equal to a of array j should be equal to temporary so once that is done um, so once that is done let me bring this down okay so our if condition is completed okay this is our if condition again now this is going to be my first for loop and the entire thing starting from year to year is going to be my uh, second for loop so let me erase this out okay so a logic part uh, for this part is done so actually what it really does is that two numbers uh, so like you've entered like around 10 numbers like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and maybe 6 so now what happens is these numbers are really compared to each other to see which one is the lesser one in this case so like uh, is one less than two if yes then it's going to be keeping it as it is then is two less than 43 then yes again it is going to be kept as it is is 43 less than five if the value if the condition happens to be false what is going to happen is five is going to be shifted over here so you're going to be having five before the number 43 and uh, you'll be having five to move from there of course then 43 is it less than 62 that is again going to be checked 
uh, once it is uh, correct it is just going to be uh, left over there as it is since it is perfect and moving further it is uh, we'll be comparing 62 with 4 so what happens is so 4 is going to be moving from here 4 comes over here and then again from the start it is going to be checked as 1 equal to is uh, 1 less than 2 is 2 less than 5 is 5 less than 43 and you know slowly slowly one step at a time this 4 is going to be erased from here and is going to be coming over here so 1 2 4 5 43 and 62 that is the way it should really be this is the ascending order of the bubble sort we are doing in C++ in the ID Turbo C right now so our sorting is done but now we need to display it to the user we are going to be using the same uh, for loop again so that you know we don't have to say that um, actually the main reason we are using an array out here is that we usually do a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and all that stuff so what exactly does an array do it you know keeps uh, a lot of numbers or it, or it has a capacity to hold a lot of values of the same uh, data type together so since like all of these are since a and b is my integer what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be setting one array out here array uh, a with uh, the size of 100 so instead of you know one and two i can just set uh, a for loop and i can take it all inside or else what i could do is i could just you know make this equal to and i could give all the parameters so I could give the parameters like 1, 2, 3 or something like that. So all of them are of the same data type. It really doesn't matter on how many values you really insert. As you, All that matters is the given size that you have given to uh, the variable. That's all. So we come down here. We say that, you know, as we have done right over here. Where did we? Where, where is it? Yeah. This entire thing is like going to be really copied. It's no different. So let me copy the statement, edit, copy, and uh, let me go down. down, 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 down. down, 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 down. Alright, so here we are, please do paste it. Alright, we're good to go. So our for loop, our, you know, our default and forever for loop has always been initiated as usual. And uh, let's say that we're going to be printing the value of um, a a variable a and we're going to be using and we're going to be putting it in every line so make sure that you add an endl or else you can you know double commas and you can uh, put a uh, backslash in and move ahead so that's all we have in this code right now and uh, let me go to the output okay and we are successful so 1 2 4 5 22 and 33 the order previously was 4 1 5 22 2 and 33 let's run this a few more times so that we ensure that there is no uh, errors as such okay 31 maybe 24 and 3 so it's 3 23 24 24 31 and 5 5 5 okay that is amazing so this is uh, our major thing or this is our major code for going from um, 1 to 0 I mean 1 to 100 or any number above it so let's say that if we wanted it in the descending order now to put the code in the descending order you don't have to really do any changes you just have to make this less than greater than you just have to make this less than symbol to greater than symbol just convert it to that and leave the code as it is so in case you're starting from scratch just make sure that uh, since you're going from this uh, since you are doing descending going from 100 to 1 you are going you are saying that a of i is uh, you know greater than a of j and that's all you have to do let me you know run the code let me go to the output screen one two three four or any kind of numbers and uh, yes we are successful so 13 5 3 3 2 1 so that's all we really have for the score and in case ever in life if you are being asked on uh, you know w what if I don't want to you know really uh, use numbers what if I had to you know use an alphabet so in case you want to use an alphabet what you could do is include character a and 100 
and uh, that's all you really need to do so once that is done you could also uh, you know you don't have to make any further changes down below all you have to do you you have to remove this uh, integer a of uh, the size array of the size uh, 100 and after doing that just close the uh, I mean just run the program and you can directly enter alphabets but I'll be not doing this over here I'm just giving you an idea of what you could do ahead in case you are asked for characters so one last time we'll be doing this okay and yes of course again we are successful so thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next one peace